Aloha and welcome to IT, I Teach 808, uh, Empowering Hawaii's Teachers and Technology Conference, sponsored by the Augustine Educational Foundation and Sacred Hearts Academy of Honolulu. My name is Derek. I'll be facilitating the session. We're so honored to have uh, Katie McLean join us today and share her experience through a 45 minute presentation named Breakout EDU. Uh, please be aware that we will be recording the session. If you don't like being recorded, you may consider turning off your camera during the session or reviewing the recording afterwards. The recording will be made available on YouTube and shared on iTeach808's website a week after this event. And without further ado, I'll turn it over to Katie. Thanks, Derek. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, today, oops, we are going to be talking about Breakout EDU. So, uh, like Derek said, I'm Katie McLean. Um, currently, this year, I'm teaching sixth grade math and science at Sacred Hearts Academy. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am certified as an elementary education teacher, but I also have my master's in library and information science. Um, so those are my two passions. Uh, today, we will be going through what is Breakout EDU, looking at um, free versus the paid subscription and what you can get through both, accessing resources on Breakout EDU, ideas for how you can use it within your own classroom, um, the kit versus the digital version of Breakout EDU, we will be comparing the two. And then if there's time at the end, we will be able to try an actual digital game. Okay, so what is Breakout EDU? Um, it's basically like a um, uh, escape room for students. So if you've never been to an escape room, it's like they give you all of these puzzles and you have to use clues to escape the room. And that's essentially what students are doing. They're given clues and they have to work collaboratively to break out of the game. Um, there are two versions of Breakout EDU. There's the physical game, which comes in an actual kit like this. And then there's the digital games. Um, it's basically the breakout box, but online, where they have to unlock the locks online. Um, the great thing about getting a subscription with Breakout EDU is that the database has over 1,800 games that you can choose from. Uh, there are free games that you can find, and I will be sharing those with you at the end of the presentation. But the subscription is really awesome, and we'll be going through what all that um, includes. All right. So Breakout EDU products. The kit itself, which is this box, is $119. Um, and it comes with all sorts of things. Everything that you need to uh, play this game with your students in your classroom. Uh, basically, it comes with a bunch of little blocks. Let me show you the locks. And there's different types of locks. Um, there's, you know, letter combinations, there's number combinations. The deal right now um, for the subscription plus the kit is $179. Uh, Breakout EDU is having a deal. So normally it's over $200. I think it's like $250. So this is actually a great package deal. It gives you all access to the digital games, plus all of the kit games as well. And then if you are only interested in the digital games, I recommend just getting a teacher subscription or finding free resources yourself. Um, no subscription is required to access the free resources. You just have to do a little digging to find them. And then I did want to mention that school-wide um, subscriptions are available too. So your school might have a subscription, um, but if not, then you would have to subscribe individually. At our school, our library actually houses the kits um, so all I would need to do is, you know, if I didn't have a subscription, look up some of the free games online. 
Um, one thing about getting the subscription is that your students can actually build games themselves. And this is with a subscription though. Um, they can make their own puzzles. There's a whole page I'll show you real quick of what it looks like. So there's game design tutorials. This is awesome for, you know, creating with your students. Um, but that is a paid feature. So you have to have a subscription to that. Um, where do you find all of these resources? You would actually go to the breakout edu website and I'll show you that too. This is where you can find the physical games uh, for the kids and also the digital games. So right here, um, you can filter by digital or kit or both if you wanted to see all of your options. But let's just say that I wanna find something for my kit. And because I teach math, I'm going to search for math. And boom, I have all of these options for math. Say I'm looking for something very specific. Um, in science, I have a unit coming up for the human body. I could search that in as well. So um, this is where you go to find all of your resources. Um, if I don't have a physical kit, I can go to the digital and see Okay, so here are all of the digital options. Um, if you are not signed in to an account, uh, it will either say locked up here, or if it's unlocked, that means it is free. All right. The great thing about Breakout EDU is it really promotes collaboration and social emotional skills. Um, so, it hits on all four C's, communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. And then they um, at Breakout EDU came up with this really great um, chart for SEL skills. So self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision-making. The great thing about Breakout EDU is all of the students are trying to work together to solve one problem. They're very motivated. Um, within these breakout EDU kits, you can put a mystery prize. It could be candy. It could be really anything. It could be something related to your content. And then the digital games, most of them are just happy with the satisfaction that they broke out. <laughs> Uh, another great thing about Breakout EDU is it can relate to any subject area. So they have all sorts of content um, relatable um, games. So Breakout EDU also has aligned um, their games with standards. Uh, I'll show you that as well, but you know, any subject that you teach, you can find a breakout EDU game to play. And actually, um, during the holidays, I like to find games that match the holiday. So for Christmas, I found a bunch of breakout EDU digital games for the girls to play. Um, I'll just show you how it aligns to standard. So you can go in and find, you know, the content area you teach, the grade level you teach. So I teach math sixth grade, I click on it and I've got all of these games to choose from kit versus digital. So you can also search that way too. The website for Breakout EDU is super user friendly. It's also COVID friendly. So in my classroom, I have just been sticking to the digital games um, this year and last year too, because that way the, the students aren't touching everything and they can stay at their own desks. Um, even though they are working together collaboratively, they're not sharing materials. Um, so there's two ways to do the digital games. You can either project it you know, on your interactive whiteboard um, or projector, and then your class can solve it together, or uh, you could have them work on 
an individual device if they have one. Um, so all of our girls have iPads for one-to-one -one, and it makes it really easy. So the groups of girls, I usually have them working in groups of two or three. They can work together on their iPads to break out. Uh, if you do choose to use the kit, during COVID times, Breakout EDU has this great chart. Um, disinfect, wash your hands uh, because our hands are where all of our germs are carried. Keep your masks on and then it gives you bonus tips. So that's a, a great graphic for our students to see if we are using the physical kit. Okay, so like I was saying before, Breakout EDU comes in two forms, the kit form and the digital form. I've tried both with students and I would say they like them equally. Um, here's a video I did wanna show you. So here's another school um, that utilizes Breakout EDU. And in the video, the, you'll see the digital breakout option um, because they've implemented that due to COVID. Breakout EDU is an engaging way for students to learn any content by collaboratively solving problems, uh, completing challenges in, in an effort to uh, unlock the physical boxes or uh, digital levels uh, and to complete levels of challenge and go through until they finally break out uh, and accomplish the challenge. Since 2016, um, Breakout has been offered in Tech Academy. Lisa Toman has offered how to make a digital breakout and how to do a physical breakout. So it has been offered in Tech Academy um, and word of mouth. People have learned about it and then they help each other learn how to do a breakout. A digital breakout would be on your computer on the Breakout EDU website. And a physical one would be something a teacher or other teachers would set up for you. And you also do the same thing, but just walk around and figure out the clues and maybe write it down. Basically, during a breakout, I am walking around, watching the kids, encouraging them. Occasionally, I have to give them a hint so that they don't give up. But I'm basically a cheerleader and celebrating with them and helping with technical support if needed. I like breakout EDUs because I get to work on the puzzles and the clues, and it's really fun to just work with someone else and get them done. I really like breakout EDUs because you get the opportunity to do it with a friend and you can help each other out. I like doing the breakouts than a normal lesson because in a normal lesson, you don't really get to like work with a group or something and figure out stuff. It's pretty fun because you just get to like free your mind. It's kind of like a little recess, it's really fun. The really neat thing about a breakout is the children who are really good at academics can shine with some of the clues and kids who are creative thinkers can shine with other clues. You start to see different strengths from kids. So you might think, oh, this child is really going to be good at the breakout and their strength is in a different area. So it allows children to shine in different ways. Today during the breakout, I was asked to look at the clues and then look at the picture so then I had to figure out, so if there's like color, uh, maybe I have to figure out like what colors and then what color would go in order. So then once I finish that, if you get it done, you can press submit or you can go back to try working on another one if you're puzzled on that one. We talk a lot about persevering. We talk a lot about problem solving and working together as a team. And those are skills that we're working on throughout the whole year. And each time we do a breakout, the children are getting better at that. And so they're understanding better how to be a team player, how to work together, how to problem solve, how to look at things critically and analytically. So my measure of success for this is their ability to sustain their attention and stick with a problem even when it's difficult. And I see that translate into other subject matters and we can tie it back in and say, even though we don't necessarily solve the problem right away, with a lot of hard work and with teamwork, we can accomplish it. Um, okay, so like they were saying, 
Breakout EDU really promotes critical thinking and collaboration. Um, each puzzle, because uh, the Breakout EDU kit and the digital version will have multiple puzzles. Some will have three, some will have seven. It's just, it's really up to you as the teacher to uh, decide how many puzzles you want to create for your students. Um, if they're the digital breakout EDUs, they are normally preset. With a subscription, you can change um, and edit the breakouts. So um, a lot of the puzzles are not obvious at first glance. Students really have to observe and see, okay, what you know, they have to look for the clues. And once they find them, it's like a light bulb clicks. They're like, oh, um, every once in a while, I do have to give hints. So that is one great thing about, um, you know, being an educator is you get to look at the hints and decide when to give your students those hints. Um, they have to think deeply and like some of the students in the video are saying, it's different than just a normal lesson because they're working together to solve problems. Okay, so collaboration, communication, critical thinking, creativity, and teamwork are key to making this um, successful. And for students to break out, I like to show my students this before we play. Um, just, I think it helps set them up for success. Okay, so we're going to dive into the Breakout EDU kit. Uh, like I mentioned before, these are available at our school's library. Um, but if your school library or your school does not own a kit, you are able to purchase them. Each kit comes with different locks and keys, um, as well as the hint cards, a flashlight for uh, the, what is that called? You know, when you write in marker. So when I've played this, I've actually been in a library um, and the whole goal was to get students to be able to uh, read call numbers. And so, a few of the clues were hidden within, you know, the the book's call number where the book would be located. And so the students had to read the call number and figure out, oh, we have to go find it. Um, yeah, so it, that was one time. There's all sorts of different games, though. The great thing about the kits is you can make up your own or you can go to the Breakout EDU um, website and search for a game. Uh, so once the story gets read to the students, because it always begins with the story, that's when the game begins. Sometimes um, I do it as a competition, like whatever team breaks out first wins. Other time it's like, oh, anyone who breaks out is a winner. So uh, for example, if I had, you know, four breakout EDU kits and I filled all of them with candy within a 30 minute time period, any group that breaks out will receive the candy. So they're all winners. Um, whereas the other way you could do it is the first group who wins or who breaks out wins. Um, so when students are playing Breakout EDU, it's essential that you encourage them to look at the clues. Uh, otherwise, they get overwhelmed and they might want to give up. So you have to encourage them to look for clues and ask them, what do you notice? Um, also encourage them to work collaboratively and as a teammate. <laughs> and then Every once in a while, they think they get the answer and they try to put it in the lock and it won't open. So then they think that their answer is wrong, but sometimes they typed in the wrong, the wrong code. Okay. Uh, I was saying before the hint cards are helpful. Um, if you're playing the digital version, there's uh, on like the teacher's page, which I'll show you, um, there's actual hints and you decide when to give them. In the breakout kit, 
there's actual physical cards that look like this. And when the students go like this with their card, that means they want a hint. You can decide how many hints that you'd like each group to have. So maybe you wanna allow them two hints, maybe one hint or no hints. Okay, now the digital breakout EDU. There's actually over 800 digital games with the subscription. Um, and then earlier I mentioned that there are free ones available. You just have to know where to find them. So in a digital game, uh, students are given puzzles like this, for example. Uh, this is a shape lock. And if you notice, each book on their spine has a shape. Um, some students might just type them in order, but then that won't work. Um, so you, you have to you have to tell them, oh, well, maybe maybe look for another clue. And then someone in the team would probably say, oh, let's try alphabetical order. And if you put the in alphabetical order by shape, it will unlock the lock. Okay, so I believe that the best way to learn something is by doing it. I didn't really understand how the whole breakout thing worked until I tried it myself. Um, and I will say that on the digital breakout EDUs, I always try to do it before I give it to my students. That way I know what sort of roadblocks they'll hit and I can anticipate like, okay, they're going to need this clue here. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend trying any breakout um, yourself before you give it with your students. With the actual physical kits, I also recommend checking the locks. Sometimes they're tricky. Um, the great thing about the digital is there isn't that much prep. I will say that the kits themselves, it takes a while to get set up. <laughs> okay, so let me copy this link address and then paste it in here. So the link that I just popped into the chat is a game called Happy Hearts. Um, and I'm going to give all of you like I don't know, we'll say 10, 10 ish minutes, maybe more if you need more time to try to break out um, for Happy Heart. So when you open the link, you should get to a page like this. It gives you the story, right? This is, this is what we're trying to do. Some breakout EDU uh, digitals, you can switch between locks. And so if you get stuck on one, you can move on and go to another. Um, there's a couple that I found that it won't let you move on until you've finished that block. I prefer these ones that will let you skip around because the, um, the students get discouraged. Um, whereas if they can skip around and unlock, then, then they don't get as discouraged. Okay, are there any questions before I let you try this? Okay, please let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to give you about eight more minutes to try this. Please let me know if you need a hint.
And I actually forgot to say um, that about halfway through our 10 minutes, I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. That way you can collaborate with uh, your fellow educators on breaking out. So about a minute and a half on your own, and then I'll put you in a breakout room, probably just two groups with our number. Okay, I'm going to um, assign two breakout rooms and then you'll have a little over five minutes with your group to try to break out. I'll pop back in between each group to see how you're doing. Are there any questions? Okay.
All right, we're just waiting for the others to come back. Okay. It looks like we're almost all back. So uh, great job. Hopefully you found that a little bit challenging. I know that uh, the first time I did a breakout EDU, I was like, what? <laughs> but the more you do it, the better you get at it. Same with um, your students. Uh, so I wanted to show you from the teacher standpoint from Breakout EDU Online, uh, this is like the clues that you can have. So uh, you can also look up the answers, which is great too, because there's a few Breakout EDUs that I've done and I'm like, I cannot figure it out. Um, so it's, it's great that they give you these clues and the answers too. <laughs> Uh, okay, I wanted to share this with you. So let me plop this in the chat real quick. This is a document. It should be a PDF. Please let me know if for some reason you can't um, access it. But it is a PDF. I'll show you what it looks like to a bunch of free games. Um, so, you know, these are mostly related to like um, holidays or just like fun days, but there's a few like fra fraction monster um, that you can play with your students and they are free. The answers are uh, down below. So I just have a copy of this saved in my um, drive and I kind of tuck it away in case I need it for a rainy day. Um, if you Google Breakout EDU, you can find more uh, free ones. You just have to dig. So to wrap things up, um, there's a number of ways that you can use Breakout EDU. You can use it connected to the content and curriculum that you're teaching. You could use it as a form of an exit ticket or in lieu of an activity or lesson. Uh, you could use it during holidays or special events. There's two different forms. So you can use the digital form or the actual physical kit. Um, the students, if you have a subscription, can actually design their own games, which is awesome. I've never tried it, but I want to, um, yeah. And then I think I was sharing before that I use Breakout EDU mainly during holidays as just a fun activity for my students um, to promote team building, problem solving, um, and then occasionally I'll try to find some that connect to the subject area that I'm teaching. Okay, that being said, we have a couple of minutes left. Um, are there any questions? Uh, do any of you think that you might try to use this with your students? Maybe, possibly, awesome. Okay, well, if you ever have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out. I'm going to post these slides to the iTeach808, um, wherever the slides are posted. Yeah, but thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, if you ever have questions or something comes up in the future, uh, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Okay, mahalo to our presenter, Katie, and everyone for participating. We hope you'll find this session helpful and make some valuable connections. Please help us complete the survey on the iTeach808 website. Uh, we'll be posting it in the chat now. Uh, the survey will be sent to uh, your email address that you registered with. Uh, please make sure to check your spam folder for any emails from, from iteach808hawaii at gmail.com. You will be entered to win one of 25 dollars Target gift cards if you complete the survey by February 4th. Thanks for being here today and feel free to join the other sessions coming up. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>